upsetting news um, that I have to kind of mention that I'm really, really, really kind of sad to kind of read, especially when you consider, you know, the role this man played in everyone's life, especially in the UK in terms of urban music and whatnot and whatever it may else it may be. Uh, there's been an update concerning Jamal Edwards, obviously the founder of SBTV, and he's basically re cause of death. And I guess most people were hoping for just a natural cause of death or something or just something unlucky in terms of brain aneurysm or whatever but it's looking like he may have died as a circumstance or as an effect of taking recreational drugs unfortunately this is courtesy of the guardian it says jamal edwards died after taking recreational drugs says his mother um it continues here it says the music entrepreneur and youtube star jamal edwards died from an app from an erythium as a result of taking recreational drugs they don't specif specify what the drugs were but you know because i think it's important to say if you're going to put it out there so people are aware it also is important to kind of specify what the drugs were um but you know again it's their business um so they can do whatever they please to do and we have to we have to be happy with that because again you know J jamal holds a special place in everyone's heart i reckon it continues it also helped launch the careers of ed dave and ed sheridan died in february age 31 brenda edwards singer and loose women panelist said in a statement on tuesday she was in a state of shock after finding out how he died Died. Fuck man. I have sadly learned that the cause of Jamal's devastating passing was due to a cardiac arrhythmia. This was caused by having taken recreational drugs. I want to address this myself to everyone who loved and admired and respected my son. Since finding out the news, I've been in a state of shock. I'm still trying to process it, but it's important for me that I do address it as no matter as the, as no mother or any loved one should go through what Jamal's sister Tanisha and I have been through since he passed. And that's a really sad thing about drugs in, in general, is that you never know what people are on because most of the time people do stuff through behind closed doors, especially if you're going through things, especially if you're really stressed out or especially if you just don't think everybody around you is going to be accepting all the stuff that you're doing. And I feel like in general, you know, maybe it's just a UK thing, but I feel like the conversations that we need to have around drugs i feel like aren't really at a mature place where people would feel comfortable enough to open up about the issues that they're struggling with so they're kind of having to do them behind closed doors and usually doing stuff behind closed doors and not doing them in the open does usually lead to some um you know um risky situations it leads to some errors um to some danger because you're obviously doing it behind closed doors you may be taking more risks in order to conceal and hide your things and in general i feel like doing things in hiding anyway doesn't serve anybody and it would eventually it does come to light it'll be so bad that you know you would kind of wonder why that person didn't come to you sooner so that's a really sad part about it but you know big up the mom for being brave enough to come out and say it because she doesn't owe anybody an explanation i don't think um i don't think jamal's legacy is going to be tarnished by hearing this sort of news it's just upsetting really to kind of hear that somebody so loved and adored was kind of going through whatever he was going through and basically had no other way to deal with it i feel like oh no i feel like oh well, from what i can understand they may be taking recreational drugs that might have eventually led to his passing which is utterly utterly sad it continues the 53 year old released a statement on twitter and instagram after an inquest in her son's death was held at the west london coroner's court the coroner catherine wood said edwards came home late one evening after work and he became increasingly agitated and suffered a cardiac arrest and was deteriorating despite treatment she said after a post-mortem that the re he had, that she had reason to suspect the death is an unnatural death okay but um brent Brenda Edwards said that he was incredibly touched by the outpouring of love and support that the family had received after Jamal's death. You're all helping us try to get through the unmanageable. She described her son as having the world at his fingertips and his zest for life and was unwilling to be taken away too soon. Um, and it was unwittingly, sorry, take away too soon. Yet we have to come to terms with what has happened and Jamal is proof that this can happen to anybody. These types of substances are extremely unpredictable and we can only hope that this will encourage others to think wisely when faced with, 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 similar, with similar situations in the future. His passing has shown that any one bad decision that any one bad decision on any occasion can lead to devastating consequences. She stressed the importance of helping to drive home conversations about unpredictability of recreational drugs and their impact and how it can take one bad reaction to destroy lives. That's the thing, man. I wish they would specify what the recreational drugs, what the recreational drug was, specifically which one it was. Was it cat? Was it coke? Was it heroin? Whatever it may be, just put it out there so that there is 
so that we can go into the next phase of this kind of healing process or this overall conversation where people are actually going to be talking honestly about these things it continues i will do anything to have my son back but this is just not possible so if i can help save one life then we will have achieved something she said the inquest heard that jamal edwards died on february 20th on the 20th of february after having a cardiac arrest at his mother's home in acton west london it was adjourned to be resumed in eight weeks time he found fame setting up music platform sbtv in 2006 and was credited with helping to launch a string of uk musicians with access stardom he was also a ambassador for the princess trust a charity led by the princess of wales in 2014 he was made an mbe of his services to music his mother's uh, statement said i'm incredibly proud of everything he has achieved over the course of his 31 years i'm so proud to call him my son several of loose women co-panelists including jay Moore and judy love left mention of support and support of the reference oh sorry the statement they said um, this must be so painful for you to write wrote nadia Sawala, very brave saying love to you and your incredible children this changes nothing jamal achieved so much he was a damn fine man 100 percent agree with that 100 percent agree with that r.i.p jamal edwards long live the legend long live the legend